Hello everyone and welcome to this video, where we're going to talk about a truly fascinating and somewhat unsettling topic, the big dangers of carnivorous plants. Yes, you heard right, those plants known for consuming insects, and sometimes even larger animals. But just how dangerous can these creatures of nature really be for us and our environment? Let's find out together. So, to start, what exactly are carnivorous plants? Well, unlike most plants we know, carnivorous plants have the astounding ability to get essential nutrients not only from soil and sun, but also from other creatures. They're not only photosynthetic like other plants, but they're also predatory. There are various types of carnivorous plants, some of the most well-known are the Venus flytrap, the pitcher plant, and sundew. These plants have developed these predatory abilities as an adaptation to living in nutrient-poor soils. Instead of relying solely on their roots to absorb nutrients, they can also capture and digest insects and other small creatures to get what they need. Interesting, isn't it? But how do these intriguing carnivorous plants work? Well, while each type has its own mechanism, they all share a common goal, to attract, trap, and digest their prey. The Venus flytrap, for example, has modified leaves that act as traps, with tiny sensory hairs. When an insect lands and touches these hairs, the trap quickly closes, trapping it. Pitcher plants, on the other hand, have leaves that transform into a kind of pitcher, filled with digestive liquid. Insects are lured inside by the nectar or aroma, and once inside, the plant's slippery design prevents them from getting out, causing them to fall into the liquid where they'll be digested. And these are just two of the many amazing strategies that carnivorous plants have developed in their struggle for survival. Now, let's talk about the real dangers these carnivorous plants can represent. No, don't worry, it's not about a horror movie scene where a giant plant devours people. The real danger lies in how they can affect ecosystems if they're introduced in places where they're not native. They can successfully compete with native plants for resources, alter habitats, and even lead to the decline of certain insect species, which in turn can have a domino effect on the entire food chain. And yes, while they're not a danger to humans in terms of them eating us, some carnivorous plants can be dangerous if handled incorrectly. Some have sharp leaves or thorns, and others can cause skin irritation. So, if you're thinking about having one at home, it's important that you know how to handle them safely. So, how can we handle and avoid the dangers these fascinating plants present? Well, if you decide to have a carnivorous plant at home, it's crucial that you learn how to care for it properly. This means understanding your plant's specific needs, like how much light it needs, the type of soil it should be in, how to water it, and how and when to feed it. And remember, always handle these plants with care to avoid any possible injury. In a broader context, it's essential to be aware of the regulations in our country or region regarding the handling of carnivorous plants. Many places have strict restrictions on the import and export of these plants to prevent accidental introduction in ecosystems where they could become invasive species. So before you buy a carnivorous plant, make sure you're following all relevant laws and regulations. Now, it's time to separate the myths from the truths when it comes to carnivorous plants. A common myth is that these plants are giants and can trap and eat large animals, even humans. This, of course, is false. While some can trap and digest small vertebrates like frogs and mice, most carnivorous plants feed on insects and spiders. In terms of the truths, yes, it's true that some carnivorous plants can pose a risk to biodiversity if introduced into a new ecosystem. It's also true that their care at home can be a bit tricky if you're not familiar with their specific needs. And although they're not a direct danger to humans, some carnivorous plants can cause injuries or irritation if not handled properly. And well, we've reached the end of our journey exploring the dangers of carnivorous plants. I hope you've learned something new and valuable today, and that you now have a greater appreciation for these truly fascinating and unique creatures of nature. While it's true they can present some dangers, if we are aware and respectful, we can coexist with these plants without any problems. Before we say goodbye, I want to remind you that every living being on our planet has its role in the balance of ecosystems, including carnivorous plants. So, let's continue learning, exploring, and taking care of our amazing home. Thanks for sticking with me until here and I hope this has been helpful to you. 
See you in the next video.